What's up everyone? Welcome to another autograph wrap up from Charm City Autographs. Today I wanted to go over the autographs that I was able to get at the Cincinnati Reds minor league spring camp and uh, that day at the camp the Milwaukee Brewers uh, ended up playing a uh, practice game over there so I have some autographs of them that I'll show you guys later on. But first up we have Barry Larkin. He's a uh, instructor in the Reds organization. Uh, I've gotten buried before in the past and he he was pretty nice about it this year uh, it, it seems like he doesn't really like the sign that much anymore so uh, I was pretty lucky I was able to get one from him uh, pretty happy uh, that it was this one because I'm trying to get this 25th Team USA 25th anniversary uh, set signed uh, I'm about halfway there but there's some of the bigger name guys that I'm still working on. So, we got Barry Larkin. Next up is Hunter Green. Uh, you've probably seen in my videos before, Hunter personalizes everything. So, I had him make it out to me. And then in my other videos, I've probably talked about these perfect game cards, how I like to get them signed in the blue Sharpie paint marker. And I think this one turned out pretty good with the way it, it uh, pops. So next up we have Brian Lahare. He's a coach in the Reds organization. Uh, another set that I'm trying to get signed is the, what year is this? 2008, it's not focusing, sorry y'all. So 2008 Topps Heritage, it's uh, based off the 1959 Topps set, which is uh, another set that I'm actually trying to complete. So. And next up we have is 2013 uh, BBM SoftBank uh, Hawks card from his time in Japan and his Bowman rookie card. Brian would only sign two for me so uh, one of my buddies that was at Reds camp helped me out and get this one done. Next up we have former Yankees prospect Rafael DePaula. Uh, I think he was a, a top 10 prospect for the Yankees back in the day. I believe he pitched in the Futures game uh, as well, but not too sure. Next up is Ricky Gutierrez. The Reds have a lot of uh, former major leaguers that are coaches in their organization, and Ricky is one of them. Uh, I've never gotten his autograph before, and he was nice enough to sign four cards for me. So I always like to... Uh, add autographs of players that I've never gotten before to the collection. So that's the four from Ricky. Next up we have Adam Brett Walker. Uh, he's currently in the Reds minor league organization. Former Twins top prospect. Uh, played with the Orioles last year. Next up we have another former major leaguer, Micah Owings. Uh, he was actually uh, two-way player too when he played uh, I know everybody talks about Shoei Otani being a two-way player but Micah Owings did it before him and he actually wasn't too bad so Micah was pretty cool uh, I think he signed five or six cards for me I can't really remember we'll find out as I go through them so here's another set that I'm trying to uh, get all the cards signed from this is the 2008 tops. Uh, for some reason, I just really like that design, and the cards, uh, they seem to, uh, sign very nicely. And then, yeah, so I ended up getting five of Micah. He was only going to sign four for me, but I had a Reds card, so he said he would sign that one as well. But, uh, super nice guy. Next up, we have Vladimir Gutierrez. He ended up signing two cards for me. And if you ever have trouble recognizing Vladimir, just look at his neck. He's, uh, he has a giant spider web tattooed on his neck. One of the few minor leaguers that I've seen that has a neck tattoo. Probably the only one. Next up we have Jacob Heatherly. Another uh, really nice kid. Always, always signs. I've never seen him turn down an autograph yet. Uh, another one of the Reds top prospects is Shed Long. 
I wish I would have had more cards of him to uh, get signed because I think he's going to be good, but this was the only one that I have. Next up, another coach, uh, former MLB player, Delino DeShields. Uh, his son plays in the Rangers. Oh, I was going to say Rangers organization, but he's actually with the big club. Uh, Delino's been kind of weird this year uh, when it comes to signing. Now he only does one per. Before, he would sign maybe two or three cards for you at a time. Next up, we have Stuart Fairchild, another prospect in the Reds organization. Another nice guy. Seems like a lot of the kids with the Reds are uh, really, really nice. Another former MLB player, uh, Mr. Darrell Ward. He's currently coaching in the Reds organization. Uh, another guy that I've never gotten before in person. I've had friends uh, get his autograph for me, but this was the first time that I ever met him. And I believe he signed four cards for me. No, looks like only three. I don't know. There might be more in there. Uh, next up we have Jeter Downs. Uh, not the greatest autograph in the world. You probably would never even know that that says Jeter or Downs. Uh, he, I guess he personalizes everything. Uh, I didn't know that. Only had two cards. He signed one. But can't complain. I've never gotten his autograph before. Uh, next we have TJ Friedel. Uh, he was kind of weird with his signing. So I think I had eight cards in my book, and he didn't sign the he wouldn't sign the regular Bowman cards, but he ended up signing the Bowman Chrome uh, refractors. So here's some of the regular cards that he signed for me, and then here are the Bowman Chrome. They're called uh, Mojo refractors. Uh, they were in those Bowman Mega Boxes that were only at Target. Everybody was buying up trying to find the Shoei Otani card. Uh, another one of Friedel from the Stars and Stripes set that uh, Panini came out with. Next up we have Chris Oki. Pretty nice guy. He ended up signing two cards for me. Nope, three. I lied. Another one in that Team USA set. Uh, next up we have former Mets uh, top prospect, and it, I believe he was a top 100 prospect. Uh, Dilson Herrera, the Reds got him in the Jay Bruce trade. Uh, he's kind of fallen as far as the prospect rankings go. Uh, I believe he was optioned to AAA. Uh, he ended up signing three, no, four, four cards for me. So... That was pretty nice of him. Uh, next up we have Tyler Stevenson. He ended up signing two cards for me. And like I said before, the Brewers were playing the Reds uh, later on that day. Uh, I didn't get a lot of them because there wasn't too many guys that I had cards of that were there. Uh, so first up we have KJ Harrison. He ended up signing three cards for me. He's another one of those guys that are in that uh, Panini Stars and Stripes set. Next up we have Tristan Lutz. His 2017 Bowman Draft signed two for me. And last we have Marcos Diplin. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the autographs on these cards in the camera I'm trying to show you guys so that's all the autographs from the Reds and Brewers uh, minor league games I hope you all enjoyed the video and go check out the Charm City Autographs Facebook page and give it a like thanks